Welcome to the swamp. The swamp? We're going out Western Port. We're going out the swamp, aren't we? This ain't no swamp down here, mate. We're at Stony Point. Crater, gators and... And it's beautiful. This it's is clear. a nice side of it. <laughs> yeah, no, it looks good over here. Yeah. Now, Mick went out with JK last night and might have had a couple of uh, fizzy lemonades. And I've got to say, he looks so bad, his beard's got a beard. <laughs> <laughs> mate, we, we had a really good night. They had the premiere of the Mer Merv Hughes fishing show. I saw it. It looks good, doesn't it? Yeah, it's a good he's, show. He's done really well. Yeah, I've done, done very really well. well. What yes. are we doing today? We're just going out for a fish, mate. What about that other guy, Steve? Oh, oh Jess, how you going? Good. You know, we're shooting, don't you? Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, good, good. I'm letting you boys do the talk. Oh, okay. We're after a few squid. We are after squid. a few squid, mate. We're going to try and do that. If we, there's no squid around, we're just going to throw some light rods out and just see if there's a few fish around. You know, the other thing we might do? Because I keep telling you, there's more fish here than there, there is, is in Phillip Bay. There, there is not. There is not. definitely. Let's go fishing, boys. No worries. Go on, Jess. You uh, put the bungs in. Oh, bungs. I think I left them at home. I'm going to do this guy. Now, mate, how are you? Good, buddy. Now, have a look where we are. We're just off Stony, and if we have a look around, oh, I forgot the camera's getting blinded by the sun, but um, oh, who we got here? Jessica Rabbit, how are you? Good, how are you? What are you doing? You're flicking a few jigs around, bud? Trying to. So, you've given me these stories about these, well, he's about to fall in the water, <laughs> these mammoth Western Port squid. Now, are these stories true, and are we going to get one today? They're true. They're not the sort of thing you go out and get on your first shot. A lot of people fish for years oh. and get them around one, one and a half kilos. Really? Okay. They I do get them here in excess of three kilos. They're just extremely rare. So, wait a sec. So, I've taken these guys out in uh, Mornington and we caught some right size squid. And they were saying, oh, these are minnows, these yeah, are minnows. But well, guess what? Right. We caught them. We right. caught them. <laughs> you know what else we could do? We could go down to Stony Point Pier with a butterfly net and scoop up little mullet, but we wouldn't brag about that. <laughs> Maybe I'll do the funny stuff. Yeah. All right. What have we got, matey? We've got the monster rafter, but we've got a little little calamari. Bring him in, try not to get squirted. This is probably about as small as I get, I reckon, around here. Really? Yeah. That's, um, he's trying to bend around and get me. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's about, that's pretty small. They usually get twice that big around this sort of area. Now we've just come across to, uh, we've pretty much just gone straight across from Stony Point, straight to French Island. And there's a nice, nice little jetty over here. I think they call it Tankerton. So um, that was my first cast. So I'm pretty optimistic we're gonna get a few squid. So I might actually drop the anchor now and uh, we'll throw out some squid floats and get some jigs in the water. All right, that's good. What do you got there, Jessica? A squid. I thought it was weed. Gave it about 10 seconds before he decided to start pulling. He's a little better. Oh, he spat it, mate. Drop that jig. He slammed his tail away, though. He was a better size. Well, we're back on. Threw it over his head and he decided to come back for it. He cooked a lot better this time as well. well he's a nice one too, Jesse. Okay, so normally I just like to grab him, but I'll just lean over here, mate. I think go towards you, you Jesse. Go towards you. Okay. Scream over the top, bud. There we go. Getting there. It's yeah. The big one we're after. No, mate. It's definitely it's uh it's right? definitely a good dinner size squid. Great squid. And they're good at trying to grab you. 
They've got a nice big beak in their mouth, and I think I've got one on this rod too. <laughs> so, um, here you go, Jess, your muzzle. Here's yours. Nice work, Jess. This one's definitely a better size, getting closer to the biggest good we're after. We can double this or more. Not saying we will, but it is possible. I'll be honest, mate, I'm pretty happy with that. I reckon that's yeah, a good one. Very good size. Cool. Great for dinner. A few of these and you're set. Today, I'm with one of my customers that come in the shop, Ken. Very good customer. How you going, mate? Yeah, good, mate. Good. He's, um, you want me to teach you how to catch some squid? Yeah, it'd be good. Yep. So they say you're never too old to learn, right? <laughs> you've, you've never targeted them? Nah. Well, you can never beat it for fresh bait and uh, some nice dinner on the plate at home. So we're, we're going to go out from War Eat today. He's going to take me out in his boat. I'm uh, taking a cheeky few hours off work. I've got Jesse coming in. And we're going to go try and catch a couple of cephalopods, mate. Yeah, terrific. So uh, we'll get all the gear in the boat and let's get down there. It's a beautiful morning. Yeah, oh, fantastic. Here we are at Western Port Bay, Victoria. This is a, a very popular popular boat ramp, this one, it's worn eight. We're halfway through the tide, so we should have no problem launching. Uh, they've just put a new ramp in, and it's looking a lot better than the old one, let me tell you. We're gonna go out and hit a place called Quail Bank, see if there's any uh, squid along there. We do usually do really well. There's an incoming tide, and that's exactly what I want. It's a nice big three meter tide, so it's a slow tide. I've got my missus, she's going to be on camera for us today. And we've got old Kenny coming up here. Good. Ready to go out and smack a few squid? Sure I am. We've got some secret weapons. The Black Magic Squid Snatchers. Now these are probably my all time favourite squid jig at the moment. They've been really doing the damage. You've got the white with a little bit of green on it. Now these glow in the dark, they're Lumo. So at night time you light them up, they just light up like a Christmas tree, they're really good. So I've got a 3.5, a 3.0. I've also got a 2.5. Now this is like a black jig with stripes on the top. Now these, I've got a red foil through the black. Normally I'll use a black or a white jig. They're the two colors I like to use because sometimes they like, on a dark day, you use a dark jig and a light day, you use a light jig. Sometimes it doesn't matter what jig you go for, they just don't want to have a crack. What you want to do, Ken? Yep. I've noticed you brought some whiting rods out. They're a bit they're a bit flimsy on the old tips, mate. So what I'll do is I'll give you one of my rods. I've, I've found the best the best rods to use for squid are graphite rods. Right. Um, they're a little bit stiffer, so that way when you flick the jig, you get an instant response from the squid jig moving. Right. When there's a bit of flex in it, they don't move as nice in the water and they don't excite the squid. So now I'm gonna throw one of my favorite jigs on for you. It's a black magic. Squid Snatcher. Right. Let's see the black with yep. the stripes. And it's got a red foil belly. Beautiful. These are, uh, uh, this is probably one of Jesse, you know Jesse at the shop? Yep. One of his favorite jigs to use. He calls it the, um, what is it? The, the, the squid um, annihilator, the squid anyway. I'm sure he'll tell <laughs> me later. But he, um, we we're actually out yesterday and we were struggling to get one. He threw this on and bang, straight away he got one. So that was good. So basically, I'm running. I'm only running about 10 pound um, braid, yep. and I run it to a little bit of 15 pound fluorocarbon. I find fluorocarbon's a lot better to use because it's basically squid have exceptional eyesight, one of the best in the world out of all the uh, animals in the animal kingdom. Now, fluorocarbon's got more carbon in the line, as you know. Harder to sound a lot. A lot of whiting fishermen use it, so that's why I prefer to use that for squid. It's a two to four kilo Robex Revenge, mate. So this is your outfit here. Okay. Yeah, I might just, might just trim that up a bit. And can I catch this one here? I think they call it a toad. A toad fish? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, mate, you're, you're, you're welcome to do that. Look, that's generally Jesse's target species. We usually leave them for Jesse, but uh, I can leave them for you today now, mate. I want, I want you to get a squid today. Oh. I want you to be a bit more confident. You said you've been out and you've tried. Look, there's no big secret to it. There's no, you know, there's a little, little bit of uh, finessing going on with it. But basically, this is what you want to do, mate. Yeah. You just want to flick it out. Now, this is a 2.5 jig. We're only in about uh, nearly two metres of water, so I'd probably count to about eight. So right. if it's a three, if it, if we're in three meters, you count to ten. Mm -hmm. So that's about eight seconds. I'll just bring the slack up on it and give it a couple, couple flicks. All right. Yep. Simple as that. Yep. 
as long as you get that jig moving in the water. Like there's, there's a lot of people that go one, two, three. A lot of people just go one big one. Right. Mate, I just give it a couple of flicks like I'm flicking it, you know, plastic along the bottom for flathead like you do up in the Bem River or mm -hmm. Lake Tyres, places like that when they go for the flatties with the plastics. Very similar to that, mate. Just give it a couple of flicks and just keep it moving. You want it to sink. Basically, you want the jig to almost touch the bottom, but not touch it. Right. Because that's when you get stuck in the weed. Yeah. And then when the squid grabs it, you'll know, because it'll feel like you've just hit a snag of weed and it'll start pulling back. When it does that, keep the tension on it and just bring it in very slowly. Terrific. Okay. That's your weapon of choice, mate. No worries. Now we've just run a drift. We haven't put the anchor down. We're just gonna, I've just found some nice weed patches along Quail Bank here and we're just gonna drift along them. The tide's coming in, so we should drift in with them. And then once we start getting to about a metre of water, I'll, I'll head back out and we'll just do the drift again. Oh, you're <laughs> joking. <laughs> oh, Mick. That's great. You caught the puffer you wanted, mate. <laughs> Bring oh, it in. Oh, Mick. <laughs> Ah, look at that, Mick. He yeah. said he wanted to catch a papa and he caught one. And can I catch this one here? I think they call it a toad. Well, mate. I was only joking, mate. That's <laughs> great. We'll get him back in the water, mate. How, how does it, Eddie? What do you reckon? <laughs> look, mate, it's a start. Okay, it's a start. <laughs> Well, it couldn't be in any better position, mate, because we've got broken ground, we've got a bit of sand here, we've got a bit of weed bed over there. That's exactly what you want to look for. I think there's a few people taking sickies today because there's a few boats out here and it's a Monday morning. <laughs> well, we're, we're flicking the jigs out either side. I like to throw a, sta a static jig out, what we call just a static jig. It just sits in the water behind the boat. That way, if any squid are coming up for our jigs and we don't see them, then they generally will come and hit the static jig on the end. So I'm just going to put one of my heavier jigs, which is a 3.5, and that uh, that will be sink sink that little bit deeper in the water while it's just sitting there in the current. Okay, yeah, nice and easy, mate. Okay. Well, I thought we might have a bit of better luck here. Yeah. Let me just get some of this stuff out of the way. Okay. That's it. Yeah, he's a little guy, but he's there. Oh, oh. And there you go, mate. High five. <laughs> well done, mate. Well done. <laughs> That's your first squid. Bye. Oh, now, okay, how do you? Now, I just want to show you something here, mate. Ready. Grab them around the back of the head, all right? Point them away from you, because they will squirt in. Now, they've got a nasty beak inside of there. Oh, boy, look out. Bit of a squirt. In there, I don't want to point them towards me, but they've got a nice big beak, like a bird's beak. Now, if that gets a hold of you, we'll take a chunk out of you. Uh -huh. But generally, they're okay to handle. Like, you know. Okay. Like I said, he's only a little guy. He's only bait size. I reckon there's, yeah. a, uh, there's a lot bigger ones around here. These are the sort of ones you normally get in Port Phillip Bay. Chris Monier normally catches these sorts of things. Guilty, but Your Honour. We, we're out here, we're going to catch them a lot bigger than this, so. Okay. But this is a, this is a very good start, and it's your first one, mate. Ah, terrific. Well, there, there you go, you mate. Go. Handle your prize. Handle the prize, now. They're a bit slimy. Get them like that. All right, Ben, just, uh, I'll just bring them over closer to the net. It's yeah. a heavy net to try and pull up it through is, the water. Mate, and there we go. That was on the static jig. I just had it on the bottom and I saw it starting to move out. I thought, hang on, something's grabbing that. Right. And something was definitely grabbing it. Have a look at that. Oh, mate. That's a corker. That is what Western Port Bay has to offer in terms of calamari. And that is just a beautiful squid. Great for bait, great to eat. And we're very happy. We've got a little one and a big one, mate. Now I reckon we just uh, we'll keep drifting. I like this spot now. I was just about to move, so we're not going to now. We're going to keep working this area. And uh, yeah, that sleeper jig did the job. I'll just show you the. Where is it? There it is. It was on the Black Magic Squid Snatcher. Oh, <laughs> got another, got another little calamari. I wasn't even watching him. He goes, is that a calamari? Is that a squid on your cheek? <laughs> I was trying to rig up a leather jacket right there. Yeah, it is. I'll we'll grab that net, mate. Sides are a little bit too yeah. large. So, and there we go. We've got another one. Beautiful. On the static jig again. Beautiful. The Black Magic Squid Snatcher. That has been a cracker for us today.
Look at that, hey? He's all right. Pretty medium sized one, really. It's a little bit bigger than the hand. Yeah. And um, it's going to go quite nice. Now we can all take home a feed, mate. All right. Right into the sun here. Let me tell you this, kiddies. If you're ever driving a boat when you're older and you go on flat stick, hold on to your hat. There he comes. Kenny, you got that net handy, matey? Sure am. Alrighty, let me just get him in close. If they, want to, if they want to go for a bit of a run, let them run. Alright, just here, mate, straight up. Under in Fantastic. There. How's that? I'm learning. You are, mate, you are. <laughs> let me just get that jig out of him. Alright. That is great. Another cracker. Look at this oh, one. Oh, beautiful. Hey? Nice big fat one. Bit, not as long as the other one, but quite fat. Smashing. And quite heavy. Smashing. So, you want to have a hold of the big one, mate? Probably about the first time I let. Ooh, yeah. yeah. He's, he's leaking a bit. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's hey! Oh, jeez. That's all right. I give it a. The I give it a good. The poor, the poor camera girls copped it. <laughs> the seats copped it. <laughs> And you've just now, <laughs> you have just now christened your boat, mate. Well done. <laughs> Sorry uh, about that. <laughs> that's great. So, um, if I can just grab this camera and just go and have a look over the camera girl here, <laughs> all over the seat. <laughs> there you oh, go. Yeah, oh, he's too. Grab it. Oh, oh, oh I'm on. <laughs> he's look out. <laughs> that's great. Ah, oh, thank you very much. Love a little guy. Thank Whoop. you very much, sir. How's that? You always got to be on the lookout. You're gonna, you're gonna ink me? Don't, yeah, point it towards Kim. Oh, she loves it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, darling. I um, oh. didn't think it was going to do that. I thought it let go of all its ink, so you just never know. You grab them around the head, you got to grab them really tight, and they generally don't squirt. Oh, right. But, you know. That was, uh, that was it's a squid, just, that's what they do. Yeah, that's me just holding the darn thing <laughs> gentle. <laughs> well, mate, it's definitely Chris and now your boat. We've got ink in your net, we've got ink on your boat, and we've got ink on the camera lady. Well, there you go. Thanks, darling, you're a really oh, good sport. Uh... Oh, that's taking a bit. I don't know if this is going to be a squid. This might Sometimes big flathead and pike take squid juice. Right. But uh, that's a big squid. Oh, mate. Bring it in, steak and drag. That's it. Yeah, no, that's enough, that's enough. Yeah, enough? yeah let him, you've got to have them a little bit drag if they want to go. Okay. Let him go. Oh, I've got another speed. I've got one on here too. Ooh. Oh, he just let go. I had one on the big one. Oh, he's a cracker. He's a cracker, Kenny. He wants to go this fella. There's another one going on this big float here, so. Yeah. Bring him in towards me, mate. Oh, oh mate. mate. Bye. And this one's gone too. If, someone, if okay. you want to grab that for I've me. got that. Alright, get him out because we're about to bring in another one. <laughs> okay. That is huge. Ken, mate, you've oh. made up for it, let me tell you. Oh, 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 oh. You have made up for those little ones. That is amazing. I'll put him in there for a minute so yeah. you need the net for that one. Ah, oh, you. Ah. Well, hang on, let me try and get this giant one in because we've got another one just as big. <laughs> Alright. Oh, we did! We got it! Yeah! <laughs> oh! Oh, we're going to be eating calamari for two years! Ken, I see you're all linked up, mate. Look at this fruit of a squid. This would have to be. My PB squid. I would have he's to say. Buddy, he's bigger than the, the freaking. I'm sorry. I'm trying, trying to. No. Oh, he's bigger than the net. That is a monster. I can't even get the jig out of him. We said one more drift before we go in, and I'm so happy I said that. One last drift. Oh, he's a monster. Jeez, I thought this one was big. He is a monster. Hold that, Kenny. Ah. Oh. Look at that! <laughs> that is a horse! They are both horses! Breeding power, I dare say. And um, look, squid live for 300 days on average. And this this is they're about at their end of their, at their travel. So 
Now they're gonna be traveling to our dinner plate, Kenny. <laughs> Look at the tentacles on that, mate. Oh, mate. That is a cracking squid. That is the biggest squid I have ever caught. And I dare say it's your biggest squid you've ever caught, mate. Biggest one I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All I can say is wow. This is oh, mate, this is great. Well, I tell you what. <laughs> That last drift was a very good idea, and I think we should throw a couple more things out. <laughs> I won't, I won't disagree with that. All right, mate. Let's oh, get him. That, oh, just fits in your esky. He is. He is. I thought that first one was big. That they got. And then they travel one. in pairs when they're like that, and obviously those two work. So the first one went, and then the flight went straight next to it. All right. Um, I'm going to clean some of this off and get these jigs back in the water because if there's any more like that out there, I want them. Woo! Well, that's us done down here, Western Port Bay of Victoria, with Gigantic Squid. Mate, <laughs> Can you believe it? Massive. Can you, mate, I uh, cannot believe it. We've still got him out, because we're just about to pack up and go in. We want to yep. get in before the tide gets too low. We had a hard day, mate. We really did. We had a hard day. We caught a couple little ones. We got a nice big one. And then we come over and we did one last drift along Quail Bank, and it produced the just goods. Smashed them. Did yep. it not produce the goods, mate? Mate. Oh, sure. <laughs> that, that's, that's squid, I reckon, with tentacles as long as my arm. <laughs> Mate, that nah, really good. Well, thanks for bringing me out in your boat, Ken. Oh, that's all right. Thanks for showing me uh, how to catch a calamari. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime. <laughs> well, mate, I can, I can guarantee you it doesn't always happen like this, but there's some yep. freaky days where this sort of stuff happens, and today's one of them. And I'm glad you come out with me and enjoyed it with uh, me, mate. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Right. Well, uh, we'll, uh, we'll see you next time on Ozfish yeah. TV. Good idea. All right. Whenever you're fishing a piers, it's really important to make sure that you're looking for the This is a bit of a weird two cents. It's not necessarily about fishing. It's about what happens on the periphery of fishing. It's what I believe to a be... A weird two cents, mate. They're all weird. Yeah, I know. It's you. I'm, I'm a bit weird, I know. <laughs> um, what I wanted to bring to your attention is just... I guess just to reiterate the fact that I've mentioned through the past three seasons that fishing is great. It's not just about fishing, though. It's about getting together with your mates and people like Mick. Yep, family, friends. <laughs> We're at a bit of a milestone, aren't we? We are, mate. We're at the end of season three. Three? Wow, it's gone quick, hasn't it? Mate, what a journey we've had. Three seasons in, we've fished with some wonderful people. We've met a lot of fantastic people. Um, we've just had a really, really good time. Anyway, we've... Uh, Mixed a little bit of homework. Well, we have. We've put together a clip, and it's about what fishing means to us, with our family, our friends, and to all you viewers out there. So you're going to see that straight after this, and uh, I think that wraps up your two cents, mate. Yeah, this this our two cents. So that's four cents. Four? four? Is it two? Four? Yeah, yeah, you're if right. You take, four, if right? you take two off four, then you got two, and then yeah, two, two, four, it's five, four, three. Oh, with five. If Jesse puts in one cent, then it'll be uh, yeah, it'll be five. Okay. We'll see you next season. See you later. <laughs> If you're lucky enough to live in this country, city, town, on this earth, where the land meets the water and the sun meets the sea, where you don't have to be a billionaire, just have to be a father, mother, uncle, auntie, cousin, brother or sister, son or daughter, friend or even just a stranger. So what was your name? Barry. It's a pastime of bonding, therapy, relaxing and friendship. It has its sad times, it has its mad times, it has its great times, it has its funny times. Well, we hope that you enjoyed tonight's episode of... <laughs> on the beach, in a boat, on a pier, or a rock, on a sunrise or sunset, it can be a nibble on the end of your rod, or a giant buckle with a screaming reel. Or your very yes, first this fish. This is Brianna's first ever fish, and it's here for you on Fish TV. It's a hobby. It's a sport, it's a lifestyle, it's an addiction, it's excitement, it's a journey, it's an adventure, it's a road trip, it's memories, it's an early morning or late at night, it can be planned carefully or just be impulsive, it can be the people you meet and sometimes the people you don't. It can make you laugh, it can make you cry. As one, we are all passionate and it unifies us all with the same interest and same common goal to get out and wet that line. Doesn't matter who you are, you can be anyone, you can just be you.